to ask the first question. Let's do Coach Jackson and Bryson here. <laughs> really pleased. Um, I think we played a good team tonight, an athletic team, a physical team, uh, a team that beat us in the most of the hustle plays and, and the, the effort categories, which I don't like. No, but they come in here. They came in here and really worked and and uh, put us through it pretty good. I, I think we did a lot of good things at both ends. We, uh, defensively, we had a lot of good long possessions. We're just having trouble finishing it. And, and this this is something we know. The team the team knows who we are. Um, we're going to have to get better on the defensive glass. Everybody knows it. We know it. We work on it every day. But we have to get uh, a little tougher at the end of the possession as far as not fouling as well and getting beat off the drill. Just being solid, playing the whole possession and then it's going to take a team effort to rebound. Offensively, the numbers were good. Our efficiency wasn't too bad. If we just not turn it over, we, we have to flip-flop the assist-turnover ratio that we've had in these games, and, and we'll do that. You know, Other than uh, Jake and, and RJ, most of those guys are still finding their way. They, they all have talent. They all can make plays. Uh, we're, we trust them all. It's just that we got to get in the flow. we got to get more experienced and get more game time. Uh, so. You know, we give them a good day off tomorrow, and, and we'll get right back to work and uh, uh, get better on, on uh, uh, Thursday. Questions? Greg, uh, the defensive intensity and the kind of kind of the mojo that they had in the second, it seemed to pick up through the second half, and they seemed to kind of accept the idea that that was kind of their identity as, how, as, as far as how they were going to win. Can you talk about that? It, it seemed I, to build in the second I half. I hope so. I mean, we have to do that. I mean, you know, we're, we're a... Uh, a bunch of new guys just fighting like crazy, and I want them to compete and make it really tough on the on the other team. Uh, we have breakdowns. We have a lot of breakdowns. I thought we had less breakdowns tonight than we did at the UCLA game, and we'll con continue to need to, to do that. But if we have a defensive identity, because uh, we give them a lot of freedom on offense, you know, maybe maybe too much. I probably give them too much to start out the year and maybe define roles a little more. But uh, if they're going to compete on the defensive end and be unselfish, uh, we're just going to let them play a little bit more. So. Uh, I want a defensive identity to this team, and uh, that's going to have to get. And the, the defensive glass is going to have to get a lot better for us to do that. Coach, you told me yesterday it'd be nice just knock down some shots, get that offense going. Did, did you feel as a whole, though, even though you knocked down the shots tonight, the offense was moving the way you, you wanted to see it better tonight? Most of the time, most of the time, I thought our pace to start the game wasn't very good. I thought Dewan and Manny stood too much, and, and that, again, that's they're, they're new to us, and they're new to what we're doing. Uh, they've had, both of those guys had two great days of practice. Manny was terrific the last two days in practice. He's going to get there. He's pressing. Dewan's pressing. Those guys are trying to do things. They're trying to find their role. Then they got the head coach over there screaming at them when they make a mistake. So that's hard. Uh, but we're going to get tougher, and uh, I'm going to let them play on the offensive end, and they're going to be unselfish, and they're going to help each other there. Uh, as long as they can lock in on that other end, I think uh, we'll keep continuing to get better. Greg, talk about Justin having – Two pretty strong outings right out, out the gate. How important is that to him to have success and kind of have some success to build on? Well, he's a good player, and we're counting on him. Uh, Justin can do a lot of things. Uh, he's, he's very talented. Uh, we all know that. Uh, I think we all know his liabilities, and he knows his liabilities, and he's going to fight through that. He's going to try to fight maybe the reputation of him not being the, the, the most competitive guy and the hardest working guy out there. He's doing a lot of good things and fighting through a hamstring that's bothered him since this summer. So Justin's been really good, and he's doing it in practice. He's doing it in practice, uh, and he's going to be one of those guys too. It's not, it's not just him, but we all have to do a better job of being a little bit more physical on the defensive glass. We kind of just turn and go to the rim. We have to expand our rebounding area, go out and hit your guy, go out and make contact so we can run those down because they ran down a lot of them tonight. Coach showed some athleticism on defense and seven blocks from you guys. I mean, not the biggest team in the world, but flying around. I mean, not uh, with the blocks tonight. We, we yeah, Lucas Idle. I mean, I'm, we're going to feed the feed the drivers right to him and let him block shots. We have guys that can be athletic. Now we don't want them leaving their feet all the time. Uh, but if the guy goes up and leaves his feet to shoot, you're supposed to leave your feet. And, that's a sign of good help. You know, Christian's good at that. Uh, Justin's good at that. So if you can come and help, it's either taking a charge or blocking a shot without fouling. In terms of Justin, just in, in reference to what you said, I mean, I, I'm sure he didn't just show up at UCLA and have a good game. Like, it, is, is there a time when you sense maybe at some point that Justin was – had improved his game? I think he's just got to believe in himself, and I think he's starting to believe in himself more. I think guys that play it, you know, in, in smaller towns, it's not that this is a smaller town, but against maybe the competition at times that you do, this, this level's a whole different deal. And uh, guys are tough. They're physical. They try to beat you up. They come after you. 
that's a whole different pace. And, and he's getting used to that. And, and, you know, having some success gets you more confident. He knows he's a guy. I told him against uh, UCLA, hey, you're, you're the best big on the floor right now. You know, go at those guys because we have to have to have him be aggressive for us to be good. And he's going to have to keep doing it and picking it up on the defensive end, but he's going to get his opportunities on offense. Greg, are you seeing a rotation developing? Is it too early to kind of determine that? Uh, where, where's, where do you feel that? I don't is? know. I, I trust the staff on that stuff. You know, Lou is always really good at running guys in and out of there. I get thinking about what I'm doing and, and talking to the guys on the floor and maybe missing somebody if they need a blow. We've, we're deep enough where we can run guys out in and out of there a little bit. We probably need to grab a couple guys a little quicker, but I thought our, our minutes were split up pretty good tonight. Um, we need to continue to do that. Um, but as far as a rotation, I'm not, I'm not sure yet. You know, there's a lot of a lot of basketball yet to be played and a lot of practices here coming up here in between these games. Guys, anything else?